And this is like something that's really difficult for me. Hi guys, welcome to Crafting Carnivores. I am Hyla and this is my weekly vlog. I apologize, I went over a little bit this week on my blog. It's been about a week and a half instead of a week, but uh, it is what it is. So I wasn't feeling great last week. I didn't have any like symptoms per se that I could I could tell you it's more um it just didn't feel good i don't know how else to put it but it didn't feel good very very tired um so just can't catch up on that sleep <laughs> some people jogging i need to be out there jogging still writing stuff down i miss things here and there but i'm doing pretty good with it i do want to say before i start a huge thank you again to carnivore quest for uh Bring attention to my channel and um, the shout out saying that they watch me it brought me a whole bunch of new uh, subscribers of course YouTube took a big chunk of them back but it's been slowly gr growing again so but to those new subscribers thank you so much for joining and watching and I hope you like my channel uh, also a thank you to Dawn does keto and Sheena's Keto Board Life. They have also sent new subscribers to me, so thank you so much. Uh, if you're a new subscriber and you're sent from another channel, please let me know so I can give them a thank you. I'd really appreciate that. There's also some other channels that have mentioned me in the past and, and still like share my videos and stuff. Hope from Mission Keto, uh, Ready Set Keto has talked about me um, really badly. No, just kidding. <laughs> Uh, Princess Ninja Keto Melanie, she's mentioned me before. Alan is always sharing my videos and posts and talking about me on his lives and stuff. So Alan's awesome, Keto World. Thank you, Alan, so much. And Jason, um, just Jason Keto. Jason at just Jason Keto. Uh, a big supporter, too. And then there's some, you know, Tom and Mike. I mean, there's so many other channels. You guys are so wonderful. Sana, uh, I love y'all. Thank you so much for uh, recommending me. And, you know, anybody else that I've left out, I apologize. So I've got some goals for this week. I'm cutting back on my cheese intake to see if that makes any difference in the scale and stuff. But I'm also not going to weigh. I'm also going to stay off of it and for a while and then get back on it um, I try to just do like once a week or something, but I am going to stay off of it for a little while. So I'm cutting back on the cheese. Try not to do too much with the heavy whipping cream and stuff. Just try to take it really easy on that stuff. I do still have some cheese in the refrigerator, so I'm not cutting it out completely. I don't want any of that to go to waste, but I'm not going to buy any more right now. So I'll just slowly use what I've got, but I'm not going to be eating cheese or dairy every day or try not to anyway. Uh, I don't know how much I've actually videoed of what I've eaten in the past week and a half because I said like I said I didn't feel good I can tell you that I ate a whole bunch of grilled hamburgers there's a whole bunch of grilled hamburgers I did video today's and I think it was around 145 when I ate and so I did video that I had two hamburgers two hot dogs and I made like a thousand island dressing that just sounded good for some reason so just some mayonnaise ketchup sugar-free ketchup and a little bit of seasoning and it. it was really good so sometimes I do mustard and ketchup or both both are one or the other, sometimes just plain. It just depends what I feel like, and that just sounded good, and it was good. When, uh, it was Duke's mayonnaise, so it's not like it's a keto mayonnaise, but I don't eat it that often, so I'm okay with it, unless I find that it does something that it shouldn't be. So another thing I'm doing this week, another goal is not to concentrate on my fasting times, because I do get hung up on that, like, Oh, I want to go 20 hours today and I'm just watching the clock. No, I'm just going to eat when I'm hungry. So like yesterday, it was 10 o'clock in the morning when I ate. And I did try the new parchment paper sheets. Not sheets, the little um, square inserts that are made for an air fryer. They make round ones and they make square ones to put in your basket to help keep it clean. And I cooked bacon and eggs in that. I've never cooked eggs in an air fryer. They did pretty good. I overcooked them. I tend to do that. I'll eat them. It doesn't bother me. But I did do a video. I just tried to open this and it sprayed everywhere. Yep, it is another mess. Can you see it? There you go. Went all over the counters and the floor too. It's everywhere. And um, of course I'll split screen and show you Anything that I did video of I, 
that I ate. I will show that. I feel like I'm getting all tongue tied. I also did a little meal prep, so let me show you that. Here's some meal prepping for you. Burger patties. I'm just throwing these in a bag because I will eat these in just a few days. So there's no sense in um, vacuum sealing all of them. I have a bunch that are vacuum sealed, but I throw some in a bag and that way because I'll eat two at a time. So that's only four meals right there. seal all the way. Plus my fingers are frozen. Okay, so those in the freezer inside so I can grab them very quickly. A lot of meal prep, right? <laughs> I don't do a whole lot of meal prep. I make hamburger patties. Uh, sometimes I make keto chow in advance and that's about it. <laughs> uh, today I have not had any dairy whatsoever or cheese, of course. That's what I was really going for. Uh, yesterday, no cheese or dairy. Mon no, Sunday I had a yogurt, but no cheese or anything like that. And Saturday I didn't have any cheese, so I'm doing really good really like to go several days and then maybe just have cheese once or twice a week and see if, if that improves. If not, then cut it out even more. But like I said, I've got some in the refrigerator. I've got some cream cheese that's open and um, I have a brand new bag of shredded cheese, so that's okay. It's good for several months, so it'll be good. And I have a couple of slices pieces of sliced cheese left over and then I have some mozzarella cheese uh, that's a block that's partially used so you'll still see me use those some but I'm just going to try to take it easy oh and I have some parmesan cheese if I make a pizza bowl or something I'll still use that I finally melted down the keto brick the Bill's uh, brownie batter and so I'm going to do a video on that I'll show you a little clip okay and Let's see, what else did I do? Oh, I've got uh, Friday. I missed all the lives on Friday night because I got in a big mum order, mum supply order. So I was going through that. I filmed an unboxing for my crafting channel. Uh, maybe I'll show you a clip of that. <laughs> um, I'm going to have a lot of ums on this one. I So I unboxed that, and then I had to sort it out and put it up. And then, of course, I have to go through the order or, you know, the packing slip and make sure that I got everything that, it, that I ordered. So I did that, and then I put everything up, and I did a little bit more reorganizing over here. Uh, I did some crafting this week. I made a whole bunch of braids. I don't know if you can, yeah. Some over here. This, you can't even see it. These are ribbon braids, and they go on Homecoming Moms. Made a whole bunch of them, but I've been having problems with my hand. I get really sharp pain in here and I have trouble gripping. Well, it's been better and then after making all those braids, I think it was Sunday, it started hurting and Sunday night it hurt so bad all night long. And Monday I could not grip anything at all. Luckily it's much better today. So I'm going to have to get me some kind of like little wrist splint or something. And Because I have one for my right wrist but I don't have one for my left. 
because those are, are in my future, especially in the fall. I'll be doing a ton of those, so I need something that's going to help me. Hopefully it won't uh, get much worse. So I've been taking it easy on making that kind of stuff. It's because, you know, when you're making stuff, you're like moving or you're like holding and then doing with this hand. So it just, yeah. It's making crafts can be painful. I know you probably wouldn't think about that, but it is. <laughs> oh, I got a big uh, clearance thing from Michael's. My husband actually surprised me with them six huge boxes of those they call them grab bags but they're actually big boxes uh some some of the stores do it some of them don't they're like ten dollars a piece he got me six of them four of them are christmas two of them are hanukkah the reason why he got me hanukkah is because uh they had blue ribbons in it and i use blue ribbons during homecoming so and the ribbon rolls were like regularly 12.99 and I, I know they run them a half off so it's still you know 6.50 and then all the Christmas like floral and uh, just all kinds of Christmas uh, decor that I can use and it all paid for itself big time and I have a whole bunch of stuff, listings that I need to put on Etsy I got a bunch put on so that was another thing like with my mom I put mom supplies on there for people like uh, group stuff together into different themes and I know it doesn't probably make sense to y'all but uh, so when you do an Etsy listing you have to take good photos and a little video and then you have to edit those photos and then you have to do the listing the listing is really long you have to put in all this information then you have to put in the shipping information it can take hours it really really can and then it's kind of frustrating because people complain all the time about the cost of things, but they don't take an effect and account what you, uh, you know, like what you pay for it. All the time you put into even doing a listing and putting this stuff together, um, and then they charge you so many different fees, it's ridiculous. So, I mean, I get all these customers that I wouldn't have got before without Etsy, but then there's there's always an upside and downside to things, so it can be frustrating, though. I feel like I always have to explain myself, which I shouldn't have to explain myself to anybody, but, you know, we always feel like we need to, don't we? We got way off tap. <laughs> topic there. Goals. Stay off the scale, keep the cheese and dairy to a very minimum, and see if that helps. Because the scale has been slowly going back up, and you know, it could have been stress, it could be um, other medical issues, who knows. So just need to, you know, kind of play around and see. So not getting on the scale has been nice because I, I'm not worried about that, not stressing. And then, like the last two days, not worrying about my fasting times. Um, other goal not my fasting times not worrying about the fasting times has been nice too so um but it's really hard for me to not go okay when did i eat my first meal when did i eat Ooh, that was eight hours i never eat in an eight hour time frame i just need to let that go and quit so maybe that will cause less stress to me hopefully it will okay it's been 12 minutes i actually already recorded this vlog but it was like 25 minutes long so so I'm redoing it. I know I left out a bunch of stuff, but hopefully I got everything in there I wanted to get in. Uh, thank you all again for your support. Yeah, for the new subscribers, you know, comment, let me know uh, who you are and about your um, your journey. Are you doing any keto carnivore or anything like that? Are you thinking about doing it? You know, just say hi so I can, uh, you know, get to know you. I love to get to know people and... Um, I am not on any other social media, in case you're wondering. I do have an email, though, in the description. I also have links in the description of some of my favorite products. I've got Amazon. I am an Amazon affiliate, so any Amazon links, I will get a very small commission, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. I've got a couple of coupon codes, like uh, Keto Chow, and there's some other links in there. Just check those out. I also put... All the people that I follow, or I hope all the people I follow, it always, I always copy and paste it and put it in the next description, and sometimes I end up not copying the whole thing, so I get a leave out some of the people. <laughs> so, there should be everybody in there, but just in case, I'm sorry if you're not in the description. And I know um, most of you probably saw the video I did honoring uh, several of the women in this community. I am going to do more of those, not just the women, but the men as well, because there's so many of y'all have helped me in this journey and still help me. So I just want to honor y'all. And if you weren't in the, the first video, that doesn't, doesn't mean anything. I will tell you honestly, the, the way that I picked the people for the first one is because I went through my notification page or my subscription page on my laptop on YouTube and, you know, okay. 
there's that person, there's that person, there's that person. And then when I felt like I had enough people for the first video, that's when I stopped. So if you haven't uploaded or it didn't come through to my uh, subscription page, that's why you weren't on that one. It's not because I don't love you or love you as much as the people that were on that one. I just wanted to be fair and I figured that was the best way to be fair was to do it like that. I also want to say, and this is like something that's really difficult for me, is my hair, the gray. My kids love to tease me about when my gray starts coloring or coming back through with the roots. The thing is, it's not really gray anymore or, or it stopped being gray oh, quite a while ago and it was just like white. See, my grandmother was, had a full head of white hair and apparently I got those genes. But in the last several months, I kept thinking, it looks like it's getting darker. It's definitely getting darker up here. It is still very, very white here, but much darker up here than what it used to be. So I'm, I don't know if it's my diet or if it's the collagen powder. I've been on collagen powder for about a year. I did quit for a couple of months and because uh, I didn't think it was doing anything, but I noticed my nails getting more brittle and my hair getting thinner right here on the temples. So that is doing better now that I started back on it. So I'm definitely going to stay on collagen powder again. I don't know if it's, it's the collagen powder or the diet or a combination of both. Let me know if that is happening to you or not, but that is what's happening to me. And I wish I had a before and after photo of my hair, but I don't. But I am going to show it. This is a very big deal for me. Very big deal. Don't like this was, this is just as bad or worse than getting on the scale and posting that up. Whew, I need to color that. Okay, that's better. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. This is going to be just about as long as the first one. I will also uh, screenshot my steps and minutes if I can remember to do that and anything else that I think of. So y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Happy eating. And I will catch y'all on the next one.